James, thank you. Great story there. Gino, I'm done with this rain. I'm ready yeah. to go back to the sunshine already. And it hasn't even, the sun hasn't even come up yet. <laughs> One day of gloominess, you're out. And I'm out of here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> done. I can't do it. Uh, well, tomorrow we'll have some sunshine. Okay, good. But most of the day, then we're tracking a little potential of some storms. It could mm. maybe be severe, but it looks like that'll be later in the evening. Okay. So, so when you're leaving out the door, I think it'll be all right. You know, grab the sunglasses tomorrow or yesterday, excuse me, was not too bad. We had a high temperature of 70, but a uh, warm front was draped down to the south and you see where that warm weather was not too far away. Highs in the lower to mid 80s down in St. Louis, Kansas City, North Platte, but north of that frontal boundary, we were in the upper 60s and the lower 70s, but not too shabby. The Climate Prediction Center does have slightly below average temperatures as we get into the next week. So ex Expecting after tomorrow and Friday a little cool down before we start to warm things up once again with this northwest flow that's bringing in some cooler weather. What we saw last week we had a winds coming in out of the southwest as the jet stream was transporting some milder weather and that's why we climbed quickly into those 80s and 90s. So a little bit of a cooler uh, second half of the month. So we got a couple of areas of low pressure this morning. Uh, this one moving off towards the east. We're on the north side of that. That's bringing in some light rain showers and then we have another area of low pressure. This warm front will move eastward. That's when we're going to start to warm up as we get into tomorrow and Friday and also watching out for the potential for some severe thunderstorms as well. As for right now, this is the band of rain showers moving across the Fox Valley and lingering all the way westward towards La Crosse. A couple more hours of the rain before we start to see it dwindle down. Then as we head later on to tonight, there's a chance of a few showers and storms. Very isolated risk, a marginal risk for severe weather up towards the northwest of our area. Now as you get into tomorrow, there is a slight risk for severe weather for areas pretty much for Green Bay and points north and west. And this really be, uh, appears to be more so the focus of some hail and some gusty winds. Skycast does show scattered rain showers as we get into about 10, 11 o'clock. That starts to move out of our region. We'll have mostly cloudy skies. And then as we get into about 5 o'clock, still dealing with some partly cloudy to mostly cloudy conditions. So a chance of storms later on this evening, early in the evening hours before we turn partly cloudy overnight. And then during the day, for tomorrow, we'll have mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies before a chance of additional showers and storms move in here, and this will have the potential for some uh, hail and gusty wind potential as well. Temperatures in the mid and upper 40s, near 50 degrees in Green Bay. That's the uh, warm spot right now. We've got 49 in Fond du Lac and 46 in Kiwani. Winds are coming in out of the south, light and calm at the moment, and they will kind of continue to do so today. Not too strong of a wind flow out of the southeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour, only getting up to 60 though. A few scattered rain showers in the morning hours, and then we'll start to dry things off a little bit in the afternoon before a slim chance of a thunderstorm late evening before a dry out tonight. 50 for the overnight low southwest winds 5 to 10, uh, 5 miles per hour. Tomorrow getting up to 75 we will have an isolated chance of a few showers or storms, especially in the evening hours. And then as we get into Friday, maybe a chance of some storms in the morning before we dry things out in the afternoon. High of 77 before or afterwards, I should say, getting back down into some low to mid 60s. So we're uh, not being consistent here. Kind of cooling off once again. I'm just hoping that we get a big spike up next week. We're hopeful. Looking, for, looking forward to it. Yeah. Gino, thank you. Coming up next.